Playing the heart of a story is just not easy because the whole purpose of playing the heart of a story and what that means I will get to in a second is you have to have some sort of emotional and important tie to everybody in the story. And that's so exceedingly difficult. But there are a few characters I think have done it fantastically and the one that I'm going to focus on today is Maze Hughes from Full Metal Alchemist, specifically Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Now let me go ahead and focus directly in on why I want to talk about this archetype today. It is a powerhouse when it comes to emotional storytelling. The heart of the story is the character who has some way of just influencing everybody. Everybody gets excited or feels something important about this character. Everybody has something from their motivations playing into that character. And the most common trope of this is in shonen anime, specifically the main protagonist, and I'll focus on Goku from Dragon Ball Z for a second here, because Goku is fantastic at inspiring everybody around him to try and achieve better. In fact, that's his whole thing. He wants to be better. He wants to be better than himself and everybody around him. He just wants to get stronger. And that very inspiration and passion tends to, and a lot of the stories in Dragon Ball, inspire everybody around him. But it doesn't have to be the protagonist that does this. It could be a side character or any character, but today I want to talk about how to roleplay it as a PC and TTRPGs, and it's just difficult. Now the reason I'm choosing Maze Hughes is because Maze, and if you don't want spoilers for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, please click away now. Full Metal Alchemist! Full Metal Alchemist. But Maze ends up dying in the story, and it is almost impossible to avoid his influence despite how early on in the show he does die. Because he is such an important factor and inspired so many people. And it's really important to focus on why that is, why so many people liked his character, so that we can back up and apply those things to our own player characters. Let's start with number one. Who was Maze Hughes? Maze Hughes was a kind, lovable, goofy father who held a very serious example for himself to provide for others. Over the course of the story, we constantly see him defend those who cannot defend themselves, help those who need it, and one of the few people who treats the main characters, Ed and Al, like a father, because he is a father and loves his family very much. And when he ends up dying, it's heartbreaking. It's a terrible day for rain. But what do you mean? It's not raining. Yes, it is. But why was that? What led to it being that important and him being such a heart to the story? Well, it's interesting because the more that I thought about this question, I came up with an answer I honestly didn't expect. I kept trying to think what resonated with him so much so that he was pretty much universally loved, but I realized I was looking in the wrong place. It was nothing that Maze had it's what everybody else didn't have. When you want to play the heart of the story, you have to understand the themes, the morals, the value of the story that's being told, and then play into that. Full Metal Alchemist, the idea of authority and fatherhood was first and foremost in the entire story. And Nays played perfectly into that with basically everybody he interacted with, whether it was on the themes of fatherhood or whether it was on the themes of authority. Maze knew what everybody else lacked, which was an understanding of what good authority is and embodied that in the story. And so if you were to take that and translate it to a TTRPG, it suddenly gets exceedingly difficult because yes, it's easy to identify the themes of a story you're writing, but TTRPGs are improv, making it incredibly difficult to figure out exactly what you want to do. It makes it incredibly difficult to identify the theme because you're all improvising the story as it goes along, but let's be honest, any of us who have played a campaign long term, especially those of us who love role playing and play a campaign long term, themes end up happening. Because humans just have the tendency to bounce off of each other, to grow ideas from each other. And so when you have a bunch of people at the table telling a story, eventually they're all going to start to line up with themes that they find emotionally resonant. And so when you look at your story, it's almost impossible not to, over the course of time, realize the common themes of the player characters. I've done it before, and I found that all the people in my campaign all had a strong feeling of needing love because of abandonment in their life. All the player characters had that. And that's a pretty common one to pop up, but it's not the only theme that can pop up. So if you wanted to play somebody who's the heart of a story, you kind of have to start a little bit as a blank slate. Choose 
who you are, your personality, and I would almost always make yourself kind or have a very strong personality. I would also make sure to communicate with the rest of the party and understand if they are looking to have that sort of emotional connection with another character. Sometimes it's just not something that's gonna happen. And honestly, the hard part about this archetype is a lot of it needs to happen naturally, which is why I just encourage you to keep your eyes open for what everybody else is missing. Also, it's always a good idea to have your character play into more positive aspects for everybody else. Have them help out with issues that other characters are having, or just be a good listener. The rest of the characters should have a positive feeling towards yours if you're wanting to fill this role. But again, I really can't emphasize enough how much it just sort of needs to be a natural progression. It could be exceedingly difficult to try and get everybody else to buy into this. And so either I would communicate with the rest of your table that this is your intention and to see if they're okay with it, or just see if it can happen naturally. But truthfully, just trying to fill in the gaps that are missing would be such a powerful way of embracing the type of emotional storytelling this type of archetype can bring. Another great example of somebody who played the heart of a story was Molly Mock from Critical Role. Spoilers for Critical Role campaign two. Click away now if you need to. But Molly Mock ends up dying, and that's tragic. But it's his death that ends up being the heart of the story and everybody else is spurred on from the lessons learned from Molly. But at the end of the day, Molly cared for people. And you'll almost always find that as one of the core traits of the heart of the story. Remember what Molly said a few weeks ago when he told us that he left every town better than what he found it? When he first told me that, I remember my first initial knee-jerk reaction was, you fucking arrogant, narcissistic bastard. No one can fucking know that. He was an arrogant bastard, but he was right. So backing up to what we were talking about, you have to start out as a little bit of a blank slate, but choose what you want to put forward as your main character trait. It almost always needs to be helping or kindness or something of that nature, but find something with that. And as the story progresses and you begin to notice the themes, adapt your character to playing into the themes. If the theme is lack of fatherhood, make your character a begrudging father. If the theme is finding bravery and fear, make it clear at some point that your character has a deep fear, but they've learned to overcome it and they would love for everybody else to as well. It's so fascinating because Maze was a great character because he played into what everybody else didn't have, which was their understanding of authority. And it would be a whole video to talk about specifically the themes of Full Metal Alchemist. It is such an in-depth show, so I am making it very generic and average. I'm sorry if I have bugged you with that. But truthfully, it's seeing the theme, knowing what everybody's missing, and finding a way to adapt your character to it. That truly makes it the heart of a party. I've had another video where I talked about Jester in Campaign 2 being the heart of the party as well, and it was a different argument for her. Everybody there lacked the innocence and happiness of life, and Jester embodied that. And so she ended up being the heart of the story because of that. She embodied what everybody was missing. That truly is the key to playing this core archetype, and I think if you can do that, you'll have an absolutely amazing time at your table. So go out into the world and make it your own. And if you want to watch another playlist with a larger catalog of all the same videos, you can watch right here.